I came to Duke in 1970 as an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine, and I've remained at Duke until now. Well, I'm most proud of the adult division of infectious diseases that I led and helped build along with others for the past 15 years. I met him as a resident and then chose to work with him as a fellow and as a early faculty member. I think what made John such a good mentor is his real belief and passion in the career paths that you could take in academic medicine and really helping individuals navigate that path. I think my role as division chief was to foster the careers of the new faculty members. He was always promoting uh, my career, and as if I came first, uh, which was really terrific. What wasn't known at the time was that AZT as a single drug um, wouldn't uh, be that effective over time, and in fact, that's what the, the study demonstrated. Our study was very controversial. The NIH-funded investigators were publishing their studies and seemed to believe that AZT was the answer. In parallel studies, however, we demonstrated the serious limitations of monotherapy. It wasn't until later that we really understood the need for multiple drugs to really suppress the virus. I was the recipient in recognition of my work on hepatitis and HIV. That's a, a huge acknowledgement of his contributions. My wife's name is Carol. We have collectively four children and collectively three grandchildren. Carol is herself a doctor. She previously was at Duke, left Duke about three years ago to assume the position with Family Health International where she serves as a senior director of international tuberculosis research. My oldest son, uh, helped me build a wine cellar in my basement. He's an uh, expert uh, woodworker. I used to run a lot in high school and college, and then as an older adult. And my uh, youngest son and I have been skiing together on a number of occasions. Carol and I enjoy playing golf together. She's, at this moment, better than me, which doesn't make me all that happy. These days, a lot of my time is consumed by a book that I'm writing that currently is entitled Infectious Diseases at Duke in the 20th Century. Particularly in the spring and summer and fall, um, Carol and I are working on a garden that's probably larger than we need. It's a challenge and we enjoy the produce and, and the beauty of the flowers.